Creatine is a supplement with a high level of scientific evidence supporting its benefits, particularly in increasing muscle power. Let's explore how creatine functions and its effects on different parts of the body. Creatine plays a vital role in the body's energy production, particularly through the formation of phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine is a high-energy compound that helps regenerate adenosine triphosphate ATP, the primary energy carrier in cells. The process of ATP regeneration is crucial for activities that require immediate and intense bursts of energy, typically lasting about 10 seconds. Mechanism of Phosphocreatine Immediate Energy Source During high-intensity short-duration activities, such as sprinting or lifting a heavy weight for a single repetition, the body's demand for energy spikes. In these moments, the body relies on phosphocreatine stored in the muscles to quickly regenerate ATP from adenosine diphosphate ADP. This rapid ATP regeneration allows for sustained muscle contraction and power output without the need for oxygen or glucose, bypassing glucose and mitochondria. For short bursts of intense activity, the energy production pathway using phosphocreatine is faster than those involving glucose metabolism or mitochondrial respiration. This pathway, known as the phosphagen system, provides immediate energy without the delay associated with glycolysis or oxidative phosphorylation. Phosphocreatine production and storage phosphocreatine is produced in the mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of cells. Here's a closer look at the production and utilization process. Synthesis. Creatine, obtained from dietary sources or synthesized in the liver, is transported to the muscles where it combines with a phosphate group to form phosphocreatine. This synthesis occurs primarily in the mitochondria, where ATP generated from cellular respiration transfers its high-energy phosphate group to creatine, forming phosphocreatine. Storage. Phosphocreatine is stored in muscle tissues, ready to be used during sudden high-energy demands. The availability of phosphocreatine in muscle cells is crucial for maintaining peak performance in short-duration, high-intensity activities. Creatine supplementation in muscle power. Creatine supplementation can significantly enhance muscle power and performance due to the following reasons. Increased phosphocreatine stores. Supplementing with creatine increases the amount of creatine available in muscles, thereby boosting phosphocreatine stores. Higher phosphocreatine levels allow for more rapid ATP regeneration during intense physical activities. Enhanced performance. With elevated phosphocreatine levels, athletes and individuals engaging in high-intensity training can experience improved strength, power, and overall performance. This is particularly beneficial for activities that rely on short, explosive movements, such as weightlifting, sprinting, and high-intensity interval training. Height. Distribution in tissues While creatine is found in various tissues throughout the body, its distribution and function differ. Muscles. The highest concentrations of creatine and phosphocreatine are found in skeletal muscles. These tissues rely heavily on phosphocreatine for rapid energy during high-intensity activities. Other tissues, creatine is also present in smaller amounts in the retina, intestines, and neurons, where it supports various cellular functions. Unlike skeletal muscles, the heart contains lower levels of creatine. This is because the heart requires a constant and uninterrupted energy supply, which is primarily met through continuous mitochondrial respiration rather than intermittent phosphocreatine use. Creatine supplementation offers significant benefits for muscle mass, with visible results typically emerging within one to two months. This improvement is primarily due to creatine's ability to enhance the body's creatine phosphate stores, which are seldom fully saturated under normal dietary conditions. Mechanism of muscle mass, increase enhanced energy availability. Creatine increases the availability of phosphocreatine in muscle cells, enabling more rapid regeneration of ATP during high-intensity exercise. This increased energy availability allows for more intense and prolonged workouts, leading to greater muscle stimulation and growth over time. Improved training capacity. With more energy readily available, individuals can perform more repetitions, lift heavier weights, 
and sustain higher levels of effort during their training sessions. This increased training capacity directly contributes to greater muscle hypertrophy and strength gains, creatine saturation levels, seldom fully saturated. Under typical dietary conditions, most individuals do not achieve full saturation of their muscle creatine stores. This means that even people who consume creatine through their diet, e.g., from meat and fish can benefit from supplementation as it helps to maximize their muscle creatine levels. Dietary Considerations Individuals with low dietary intake of creatine, such as vegetarians and vegans, often have lower baseline creatine stores. For these groups, creatine supplementation can lead to more pronounced increases in muscle mass and performance due to the greater initial deficit in their creatine levels. Population-wide benefits widespread effectiveness. Approximately 70-80% of the population responds positively to creatine supplementation, experiencing noticeable improvements in muscle mass and performance. The degree of response can vary, with some individuals experiencing more significant benefits than others. Genetic factors. Some people may have genetic variations that affect their natural create production or utilization, making supplementation particularly beneficial for them. These genetic factors can influence how creatine is metabolized and stored in the body, impacting overall effectiveness. Additional mechanisms Cellular hydration Creatine has an osmotic effect, drawing water into muscle cells. This cellular hydration can lead to an increase in cell volume, which may promote muscle growth by stretching the cell membrane and activating growth pathways. Inhibition of myostatin. Creatine has been found to weakly inhibit myostatin, a protein that restricts muscle growth. By inhibiting myostatin, creatine allows for greater potential muscle growth. Protein synthesis. Creatine supplementation may also enhance protein synthesis within muscle cells, contributing to greater muscle mass over time. In addition to its well-known effects on muscle power, creatine supplementation has been shown to enhance cognitive function. This cognitive enhancement is largely attributed to creatine's role in bioenergetics within the brain. Mechanism of Cognitive Enhancement Energy Production in the Brain Creatine supports the production of ATP in brain cells, ensuring a steady supply of energy for various cognitive processes. The brain is a highly energy-demanding organ, and creatine helps maintain optimal energy levels, which is crucial for sustained mental performance. Crossing the blood-brain barrier For creatine to exert its cognitive benefits, it must cross the blood-brain barrier. Higher doses of creatine are required to achieve sufficient concentrations in the brain, allowing it to effectively enhance cognitive function. Effects on homocysteine levels, homocysteine reduction. Creatine supplementation has been shown to lower homocysteine levels in the blood. Elevated homocysteine is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, cognitive decline, and other health issues. By lowering homocysteine levels, creatine contributes to better overall brain health and reduces the risk of cognitive impairment. Impact on depression antidepressant effects. Several studies have demonstrated that creatine supplementation can improve symptoms of depression, particularly in women. The exact mechanism is not fully understood, but it is believed that creatine's role in enhancing brain energy metabolism plays a part. Improved brain bioenergetics may help stabilize mood and alleviate depressive symptoms. Gender differences. Interestingly, the cognitive benefits of creatine including its effects on depression, appear to be more pronounced in women. One hypothesis is that hormonal differences, such as the impact of estrogen on brain function, may influence how creatine affects mood and cognition. Cognitive performance enhanced mental performance. Creatine supplementation has been linked to improvements in various aspects of cognitive performance, including memory, attention, and processing speed. These enhancements are particularly noticeable during tasks that require intense mental effort or involve complex problem solving. Support for visual and spatial tasks. Some studies suggest that creatine is especially beneficial for tasks requiring significant visual and spatial processing. These types of tasks are energetically demanding and creatine helps ensure that the brain has sufficient energy to perform optimally. Evidence and research studies on cognitive benefits. Research on the cognitive benefits of creatine is still evolving, 
with many studies showing promising results. While the evidence is stronger for certain populations, such as women and individuals with higher cognitive demands, more research is needed to fully understand the scope of creatine's cognitive effects. Inconsistencies in men. The cognitive benefits of creatine in men are less clear, with some studies showing minimal or no improvement. This discrepancy highlights the need for further investigation into the factors that influence creatine's cognitive effects, such as dosage, duration of supplementation, and individual differences. Creatine offers a range of beneficial effects on muscle cells beyond its primary role in energy production and performance enhancement. These additional actions contribute to its effectiveness in promoting muscle growth and overall muscle health. Myostatin inhibition weak inhibition of myostatin. Myostatin is a protein that limits muscle growth by inhibiting muscle cell differentiation and proliferation. Creatine supplementation has been found to weakly inhibit myostatin, thereby reducing its muscle growth restricting effects. This inhibition allows for greater potential muscle growth and development. Osmotic effect and cellular hydration Osmotic effect Similar to glycogen, creatine exerts an osmotic effect, drawing water into muscle cells. This osmotic action increases the water content within the muscle cells, leading to cellular hydration, muscle cell hydration. The increased hydration of muscle cells causes them to swell, which can activate various growth pathways. Hydration-induced cell swelling is believed to stimulate muscle protein synthesis and reduce protein breakdown contributing to muscle growth. Activation of mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptor stimulation. The hydration effect of creatine can stimulate mechanoreceptors within muscle cells. Mechanoreceptors are sensitive to changes in cell volume and pressure, and their activation triggers anabolic signaling pathways that promote muscle growth. This process enhances the muscle's ability to repair and grow in response to resistance training. Synergistic effects enhanced muscle growth. The combination of myostatin inhibition and increased cellular hydration creates a synergistic environment for muscle growth. By both reducing muscle growth restrictions and enhancing anabolic signaling, creatine helps maximize muscle hypertrophy, improve muscle health. These additional actions of creatine not only support muscle growth, but also improve overall muscle health and resilience. Proper hydration and optimal anabolic signaling help maintain muscle function and reduce the risk of muscle injuries and deterioration. Creatine supplementation increases creatinine levels, which can be concerning because creatinine is commonly used as a marker of kidney function. However, the rise in creatinine from creatine supplementation is not due to renal impairment, but rather due to increased muscle mass and the non-enzymatic conversion of creatine to creatinine. Therefore, measuring cystatin C levels is recommended to assess kidney function accurately, as cystatin C is not affected by creatine supplementation. There is some evidence suggesting that creatine might have neuroprotective effects. While the evidence is weak for conditions like Parkinson's disease, it is somewhat stronger for depression. Interestingly, these benefits seem to be more pronounced in women, potentially due to hormonal differences such as estrogen's role in mitochondrial function. Creatine may also enhance intellectual performance, particularly in tasks requiring significant cognitive effort and visual processing. Some studies have indicated that creatine supplementation can increase persistence and performance in mentally demanding tasks, though these effects are subtle and often measured through psychometric tests. At the cellular level, ATP, the energy currency of the cell is produced in the mitochondria and must be delivered to where it's needed. Creatine helps in this process by acting as a quick energy transfer molecule. This role is crucial for cells with high energy demands, such as neurons and muscle cells. Creatine's ability to be rapidly phosphorylated and dephosphorylated makes it an efficient energy carrier, enhancing both immediate power output and endurance. This dual benefit leads to greater training capacity and consequently increased muscle hypertrophy. In summary, creatine is a powerful supplement with a range of benefits extending beyond muscle power and mass. Its role in energy production and enhancement of muscle power makes it a go-to supplement for athletes and fitness enthusiasts. By increasing phosphocreatine stores, 
Creatine allows for more intense and prolonged workouts, contributing to significant muscle hypertrophy. Beyond its muscular benefits, creatine also supports cognitive function, particularly in women, by improving brain bioenergetics and lowering homocysteine levels. These effects can help alleviate symptoms of depression and enhance mental performance during demanding tasks. Additionally, creatine's impact on muscle cells goes further with its ability to weakly inhibit myostatin and its osmotic effect that hydrates muscle cells, stimulating growth pathways and promoting overall muscle health. Given its wide range of benefits and strong scientific backing, Creatine is a valuable addition to any fitness or cognitive enhancement regimen. Whether you're aiming to boost your physical performance, increase muscle mass, or support your cognitive health, Creatine offers a multifaceted approach to improving your overall well-being. Thank you for watching this video on Prime Healthy. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more health and wellness tips. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.